Let me explain hurt. Hurt. My head hurts. My ear hurts. Mm. Ooh, it hurts. My arm hurts. Mm. It hurts. Yesterday, I went to the gym. Yesterday, I went to the gym for the first time. First time. Day one at the gym. Yesterday. Today, my body hurts. Yes. Ooh, mm -hmm. Hurts. You understand? Hurts. And when you say, my head hurts, you can say, I have a headache. I have a headache. Ache means pain. Ache, pain, the same. Right? Synonyms. They're synonyms. So, when I say, I have a headache, I have a headache, my head hurts. Okay. Okay. Present, present. What's the difference? Present is a gift. It's present, a gift. Yeah. Okay, okay. And present, it means to show. It's a verb. Some words in English, they change the stress syllable, whether it's a verb or a noun. For example, present. Present as a noun, the first syllable is stressed. Present. But present as a verb, the last syllable is stressed. Present. There are many words in English. For example, project. It's a noun. Look at my project. But if it's a verb, you say project. It's projecting. Rebel. Rebel is a noun. I was a rebel when I was a teenager. Rebel. So the noun is rebel. The verb. Rebel. Most teenagers rebel against their parents. Remember, if it's a noun, the first syllable is stressed. If it's a verb, the last syllable is stressed. If you make a video, you are recording. So the final syllable is stressed. Record. If it's a noun, it's a record. For example, oh, he is the tallest man on the planet. It's a record. Uh, you know, the, the Guinness Book with the world's records. It's a noun. Refund or refund? Again, if it's a noun, first syllable gets stressed. Refund. If you said, I will refund your money. I will refund your money. It's a verb. But if you say, I will get you a refund. As a noun, refund, the first syllable is stressed. You got it? You go to the gym every day or four times a week, like I did, five times a week. And then one day you say, you know what? I won't go anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to go to the gym anymore. I will stop. And then you give up. So give up means to say you do something, maybe regularly, it may be a habit, or you do it sometimes and then you just stop. You say, you know what, I don't want to do it anymore. Or sometimes you stop doing it because you feel sad, because you don't have as many results, or because someone said something and you got sad. You are sad, now you think, oh, you know what, I give up. I don't want to do it anymore. I give up. Give up. Or you're playing a sport and you're trying to win. You're trying to win, but then you're so tired or sad or something happened and you think, you know what, I'll stop running and you stop. You give up. You give up. You say, okay, I don't want it anymore. You understand? Yes, now I understand. So give up. Earn. Do you know the word earn? No. I'll explain. Do you know the word win? Yeah, yeah. Win. If you don't lose, you win. For example, you win the lottery, right? You win a, an award. If you don't lose, you win. You win a game. You win money. But when you win money, it's... Uh, you just win it. You don't need to work. As when you win the lottery, right? You don't work to get that money. You just win it. But if you work, if you have a job, 
Then you earn money. You earn a salary. You earn money when you work. And then in exchange, you get paid. You earn money. So you can say, I earn a lot of money. Or I wish I earned a lot of money. It's when you work and you get paid, you get money for the work you did. You get money for the work you did. You earn money. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hot heat heater. The word hot. Okay. Hot is the opposite of cold. If it's cold, it's not hot. Hot is the adjective. Heat is the noun and the verb. You could say that you need to heat the water. Heat means to make something hot. If your coffee is cold, you can heat your coffee in the microwave. Yeah, uh, not good. So, my coffee is not hot, adjective. I will heat my coffee in the microwave. To heat, it means to turn something cold into something hot. That's it. You heat something, you turn it hot. You make it hot. And heater, heater is an object that we use for heating the air around you. If it's cold, if it's winter, you turn on the heater and it heats the air. You got it? I got it. I got it. That's it. <laughs>